everyone. Welcome to Book Chat. My name is Leslie and I'm the Reading Machine Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today's book chat is called Drifts by Kate Zambrino. It was published in 2020. It is 327 pages long and it's got my requisite tabs in it because that's just how I do things. Um, this book is labeled as a novel, um, and in particular, the genre that it falls under is called autofiction, which is short for autobiographical fiction. Um, there's a lot of things online that you can read about autofiction. I'm not going to really go into that here. Um, it's a pretty interesting subgenre of writing, um, but what this novel is about, it's about a writer trying to write a novel, and the novel is called you guessed it, Drifts. So, I think that this book is arguably the perfect pandemic book. Um, the novelist in the book, she spends a lot of time thinking about her novel in progress. She's observing her neighbors. She's thinking about other writers and artists she admires. And she's hanging out, not doing much of anything. She's watching YouTube, you know, just thinking, writing in her notebook. Um, and this title is so appropriate because this book is very much about the drifts and mundanity of everyday life. For me, it particularly speaks to the slowness of the pandemic lockdowns. Um, so I read this book early this year while I was in Texas. You may remember the bad winter storm in Texas that happened in February. Um, so I was there during that time. I spent three days stuck in a hotel waiting for the roads to be safe enough to drive so that I could go visit my mom. And that was the original purpose of the visit was so that I could go see my mom. Um, so <laughs> there wasn't a lot going on because everything was shut down. Like nothing was moving. Nothing was happening because the roads were closed down. Restaurants were closed down. Like nobody was going anywhere. Um, so it was a lot, it was very interesting to be there at that time reading this book where there's really not a lot going on. So um, I was just kind of waiting for the next thing to happen. And that's a lot of what this book is about. It's kind of just waiting, living out life, you know, but it's not particularly big and exciting, you know. Um, so I couldn't help but notice the similarities. Anyways, I would like to read an excerpt from the beginning of this book. It's not the precise beginning, but it's close enough to it. Um, I really like the way it describes kind of the purpose of the book. And it's probably maybe not even this book. Um, it's the book that the, the novelist is trying to write in the book. But I think that it's about <laughs> this actual book too. So, in the summer of 2015, I was supposed to be at work on Drifts a book I had been under contract for almost as long as I had lived in this city, renting the first floor of a shabby Victorian house in a tree-lined neighborhood so remote it was almost a suburb. The title of the book came from a feeling and I wanted to write through this feeling. What I really wanted to write was my present tense, which seemed impossible. How can a paragraph be a day or a day a paragraph? But I couldn't often exist in the room or even in this paragraph now. I found myself always distracted. The publishing people told me that I was writing a novel, but I was unsure. What I didn't tell them is that I want, is that what I longed to write was a small book of wanderings, animals, a paper thin object, a ghost, filled with an incandescence towards the possibility of a book, as well as a paralysis. Maybe I was writing a novel in the Robert Walzer sense, his short forms like moods and digressions. For me, the sketches I produce now and then are shortish or longish chapters of a novel. The novel I am writing is always the same one, and it might be described as a variously sliced up or torn apart book of myself. What is a drift? Perhaps a drift is a sort of form. And that's kind of like, I think that serves a, as a really good introduction to what this book is about, what it's like. Um, it's about drifting and how uncomfortable that can be and how there's not really much going on. And um, 
I love this book so much. I find it so satisfying because it's definitely a book about a writer. I'm a writer myself and it really delights me to see the writing process so aptly presented on the page. Um, I would say that this is a book that many people would probably find boring because there's not much in the way of plot devices. Um, however, I love it and plan to read it over and over. I've already read it twice this year. I'm going to reread it in the future. It's very valuable to me. Um, you know, I just, I adore Kate Zambrino, not just this book, but her other books as well. But this is a pretty darn good one. So anyways, we have this in our collection, so feel free to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's book chat, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.